Peggy 3. Welcome to another episode of The Boot Room. I'm Matt Cuttle, and as always, I'm joined by Darren Cross from Match Magazine to share with you guys some FIFA 14 tips. Now, last week we covered what's new in FIFA 14 quite briefly, but this week we're going into detail about one subject, and that subject is... Sprinting. Indeed. So, um, what have you got to share about sprinting? Yeah, so the effects of sprinting have really changed uh, for FIFA 14, so today we're going to focus on um, ways to use sprint with ball and without the ball that will hopefully improve the game. Cool. So, uh, where do you want to start? Well, there are four things um, to talk about, really, um, with the ball. And I'd say um, the first one is, is um, how you use sprint when you're dribbling. So you'll find that if you constantly hold sprint while you dribble, um, you may overrun the ball and, and sometimes this will result in you running out of play or just running it straight into trouble. Um, and that's particularly true if you're trying to dribble with a player that doesn't have a great dribbling ability. The better dribblers are, have much more control over the ball and take you know, more good touches um, versus the, the, the weaker dribblers. So that's one thing. Be careful when sprinting with dribble and, and try to use it in, you know, in bursts really. And sprinting in bursts is something you do a lot, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's um, certainly a tip I'd, re I'd really encourage um, in FIFA 14. So what I try to do is um, create a little bit of space with a, a sort of bit of quick movement or a change of direction, open up that gap and then I'll use sprint as, as a burst to get away from the, the defender. Um, I may even hold it just slightly longer just to put a little bit of distance, but what I'm certainly not doing is holding it constantly as I'm moving away because that um, may result in me knocking the ball a little bit too far. So it's all about quick movement to create space, hold sprint to burst away. And do you have any more tips regarding your movement in relation to the movement and direction of your opponents? Yeah, one of the things I try to do when I've got the ball at my feet is look at the um, approach and the body shape and the angle of the defender that's coming towards me. And if he veers too much one way or, or his body shape is sort of taken in one way, sometimes you can beat them just by a simple short sprint um, in, the, in the way that you were going. It's just enough to push the ball ahead of you and allow the defender's own momentum to take him past you and effectively be out of the game for a few seconds. Do you have any more tips for sprinting with the ball? Yeah, one last one really is that you're able to turn now at much sharper angles when you're sprinting. So one thing I like to do is, is sprint along um, while holding uh, the sprint button down and, and the left stick. And then I'll release the sprint for just a really, really small amount of time, hold the left stick in the direction that I want to then go in and then press sprint again to burst into that direction. And the effect of that is you'll see your player really momentarily begin to slow and then he'll burst into the gap that you've chosen. And the difference between 13 and 14 is that you can do that at much sharper angles. You're not locked to certain turning um, positions. So that's really going to sometimes wrong foot defenders, I guess, so you can get behind them or even just get away from them and get a good angle on goal. Exactly, yeah. It does take a bit of practice. You know, if you don't time it quite right, sometimes you can slow down a bit too much, you know, more than you wanted to. But once you get the hang of it, you're really going to um, use that effectively, especially in and around the box where you can dart into a gap and get a shot on goal. Now let's move on to defenders. Of course, um, I'm in, in the habit, unfortunately, of holding the sprint button down uh, while I'm defending, which I need to get out of very quick in FIFA 14, yeah? That's definitely the first tip. You can certainly use sprint um, to close some of the gap, um, but you need to let go of the, of the trigger before you uh, re get close to the player with the ball. Otherwise, you are going to find your momentum takes you past him particularly if he's doing what we just talked about, which is putting a movement in to, to throw you off, off course. If you have slowed down enough, you're going to be able to react that bit quicker. So it's really about forgetting um, about holding sprint for so long and, and really practicing on releasing it that little bit earlier. If you have over, you know, if you've overrun it past the uh, play with the ball and you keep hold of sprint, you'll find that your turning circle is that much bigger. So as soon as you go past the player, if that has happened, um, release sprint and, and turn without it. And then if you need to, sprint again to try and, try and catch the guy up, but certainly don't keep it held down as you're trying to turn. Thanks for those tips, Darren. Hopefully the game won't run away with you next time. Don't touch me. Darren, what are we looking at next time? Oh, next time we're going to look at um, passing and, and how you can uh, build your attack with good passing play. Wonderful. I look forward to that. Don't forget you can catch Darren Cross in Match Magazine every Tuesday. We'll see you next time on The Boot Room. Sorry, that touched me.